All right, let's clear things up. As early as the beginning of the year, everyone was excited about the huge possibility that XRP would reach $10,000. Also, guess what? That guess has just become much more accurate. Larry Fink from BlackRock is officially sporting this. Think about this. There's more to it than just $10,000 per XRP. Of course not. He's making it sound like a basic need. Hey, Moneyside family. Welcome back to the place where you can find everything about XRP. Before we get into the meat of today's post, let's quickly catch up. Please do me a small favor. Tap the like button, subscribe and bell button to become a part of our wonderful community. Also, here's a heads up. As we get closer to 2K subscribers, we're getting ready for a huge XRP giveaway. It's really easy to enter the giveaway. Just do these three easy things, so make sure you're ready and tuned in. For a chance to win, don't forget to leave a hashtag with the word CoinGraphMarket in the comments. This is where it gets juicy. Imagine that big names in finance like BlackRock and Vanguard are now seriously thinking about using XRP for their international transactions. Don't worry, things will get better. There are rumors that BlackRock will release an ETF that focuses on XRP. You did hear that right. There's more though, though. That was not all Larry Fink did. He is looking at the huge real estate market which is worth $30 trillion. And can you guess what its future is all about? That's it. The XRP ledger all set to turn everything into tokens. A huge $1.2 quadrillion from the International Swaps and Traders Association is also going to flow through the XRP ledger and RippleNet. There's more to it than just $10,000 per XRP. That's how kids play. The value of each XRP could go through the roof, reaching as much as $60,000. Wow, that's really cool. Let us move on to the next part. Another big surprise came from Larry Fink of BlackRock. There's more to him than just talking. Things are about to get really big for Ripple and its digital currency XRP. Everything will be tokenized. And the next part of our video has a clip that will get people's attention. The move by BlackRock toward an XRP ETF was confirmed by Larry Fink himself. Let's not wait any longer. Feel free to watch this clip now. Adding a Bitcoin ETF is one way that we're making it more legitimate. We're making things safer. Now listen up, are you going to do another ETF? What about an XRP ETF? I know you have an Ether somewhere. What about XRP? Could you answer that? I am unable to. Is that not okay with you? I do. I'm afraid I can't. Okay, don't blame me. We've seen a lot of strange things happen in the crypto world lately, especially with XRP. Think about this. On Crypto.com, a famous exchange around the world, XRP's value went through the roof and reached an amazing $43,000. This isn't a one-time thing. This is part of a growing trend of XRP's value going up without warning. Remember last week when we talked about a $7,000 XRP bug at a major exchange. Now it's Crypto.com's turn. And it looks like these sudden price jumps for XRP are happening more often on different exchanges. But let's talk about something else that I found through a lot of research. It's just as interesting as BlackRock or the overall rise in the XRP market. We're going to talk about Gary Gensler, the famous SE chairman who took over for Jake Clinton. Gensler always puts XRP in the security category, which most of you may already know. This is where it gets interesting. Robert M. Gensler is Gary Gensler's identical twin brother. They are the same age and look a lot alike. As vice president of T. Rowe Price, Robert is a very important person there. It turns out that T. Rowe Price isn't just any investment firm when you look into it more. It is one of the biggest companies putting a lot of money into Bitcoin, Ethereum, and yes, XRP. There seems to be a strange link here. Gary Gensler, who is in charge of the SEC, keeps calling XRP a security. However, his twin brother is very involved with an investment firm that has a lot of money invested in XRP and other cryptocurrencies. It's an interesting contrast that makes me wonder about the complicated dynamics at play in the world of cryptocurrency investments and regulations. Now we come to an exciting possibility. Could Robert Gensler, vice president of T, Rowe Price, know something that no one else does about XRP's potential like they do about Bitcoin and Ethereum? When you think about how much the company has invested in these three cryptocurrencies, this theory starts to make sense. In public, the SEC says there is no such thing as insider trading, but many reports and investigations have shown that there is. These investigations, which have mostly been about market manipulation and insider trading, have repeatedly shown that the CC is doing things that aren't right. It looks like a pattern is starting to form. It looks like CC employees are telling their friends and family about which digital assets might soon no longer be considered securities. Then these family members invest early. When the asset is officially declared non-security, its value goes through the roof, making these family and friends rich by buying low and selling high. In this situation, let's think about the chance that Robert N., Gensler got inside information from his brother Gary Gensler about how the CC might lose a lawsuit against XRP. This kind of information could mean that Congress wants to settle the case between Ripple Labs and the SEC. 
this is a great time for smart investors to buy XRP. But seeing T. Rowe price put more and more money into Bitcoin, Ethereum, and most notably XRP adds another layer to this story. The cryptocurrency community is talking a lot about how XRP could reach unbelievable highs like $10,000, $20,000, or even $60,000. Analysts who have been bullish on XRP, like Jack the Rippler, think its value will skyrocket and could even go over $589. Even though this prediction is very bold, it shows how much people are interested in and guessing about XRP and its potential in the cryptocurrency market. Wall Street wants a piece of the XRP pie because it's so profitable. And my guess, an XRP ETF will be the first big play. But let's look into this development more deeply than just the surface. Crypto Basic has some interesting news for us. An analyst says that JP Morgan has made a big move into XRP, which has caught the attention of a former director of Ripper of Ripple. This news definitely made me raise an eyebrow, it's something we need to sort out. This is how the story goes. Ben Armstrong, who used to work for the BitBoy crypto brand, brought up some controversial claims about JP Morgan's alleged investment in XRP, which made an ex-Ripple director respond. Armstrong, a well-known figure in the crypto world, wrote a series of posts about this. He says that JP Morgan has bought a huge amount of XRP tokens, dash, dash, 7.5 million of them. Armstrong then says that this move is worth about 7.5% of all of JP Morgan's wealth. But wait, this math doesn't make sense at all. To give you an idea of how much 7.5 million XRP is worth now, 4.46 million doesn't even come close to 7.5% of 5% of JP Morgan's wealth. Armstrong's math doesn't quite work out when you consider that JP Morgan's total assets are a huge $3.89 trillion as of 2023. Even so, Armstrong stresses how important it is that JP Morgan is supposedly stockpiling XRP as part of a strategy. Uh, his opinion is that this makes JP Morgan an up-and-coming cryptocurrency powerhouse. So far, we've heard that big Wall Street banks like JP Morgan might be interested in making moves in crypto, especially with XRP. Also, the math may not be very good, but the thought of big banks getting into crypto is something that shouldn't be ignored. It's part of a bigger trend where traditional finance and digital currencies are coming together, and XRP is at the center of some very interesting changes. Okay, so here's the deal. It was always going to happen that Wall Street would accept crypto. Since more than five years ago, when I first talked about this, it seemed like a far-off dream. Now, look at us. You don't think XRP will follow Bitcoin's lead, do you? To be polite, I have to disagree. The question is not if, but when in the case Armstrong painted, though, that might not be the whole picture. But wait, the story gets more complicated. Matt Hamilton, who used to be the director of Ripple, responded to Armstrong's shocking claims with a lot of doubt. He wasn't sure if such a purchase was legal and wasn't sure what effect it would have on XRP because there are so many of them. This is when Hamilton pulls out the calculator. $1.5 